Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to the Jayton P. Shaw Symposium on Clinical Controversies in Head and Neck Cancer. My name is Jerry Freeman, and I'll be the moderator today. I think we've got them up. Okay. It gives me great, great pleasure to first uh, introduce the benefactor of this uh, symposium. I've done this task many times, and each time I'm delighted to do so, and that is to introduce uh, Jayton P. Shaw, who's sitting right over here. Just a little bit of background. Jay uh, graduated from medical college in Baroda, India, and came to train at uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering. He's now a professor at the Weill Medical College at Cornell, chief of the head and neck service at uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering, and holds the Elliott Strong chair. Just gonna try to advance these. Oh, by the way, in my shameless uh, manner, I'm going to ask you to pay attention to the uh, Second World Congress on thyroid cancer, which we'll have in Toronto. Uh, Jay's a part of that in uh, July 2013, about a year from now. So if you take a look at this uh, photograph on the left, this is Jay at a very early age. Now Jay aspired to be a tennis player. And uh, if you pay close attention to the way he grips that tennis racket, you can see that uh, operative technique was foremost in his mind at that time. Unfortunately, he couldn't be a tennis player because he kept holding the racket upside down, which precluded his, uh, his, his, his uh, uh, trajectory to Wimbledon. Um, you can also see that uh, he's changed his sartorial splendor and um, uh, adopted a, a very beautiful manner of pre presenting himself uh, with, with, uh, with his clothing. Um, you can see the same resolute single focus in his eyes, and uh, the picture on your right is him as a young, younger man. Uh, even the hairdo is the same. Um, unfortunately, Jay did not become a world-class tennis player, and his parents told him he had to be a head and neck surgeon. And what a head and neck surgeon he's turned out to be. He's an iconic figure. Uh, what can I say about Jay that hasn't been said already? Uh, he's probably the most recognizable face in head and neck surgery in the world. He's served in almost every leadership position uh, in the world in head and neck surgery. He's published over 300 peer-reviewed papers, given 1,000 uh, invited presentations, 59 eponymous lectures, and the list goes on and on and on of honors. Uh, he's had a chair named after him, and it was my honor to be present when uh, the chair was conferred. Uh, he's uh, been a, an amazing diplomat and statesman in the form of head and neck surgery, and I can honestly say that he will enter the pantheon of um, iconic figures uh, and probably surpasses many iconic figures in head and neck surgery, even the great Hayes Martin. Jay has established an amazing service at uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering. His colleagues adore him and revere him. His residents and fellows uh, love him. I've had the honor of being with Jay around the world on many, many programs, and I still learn from Jay. Uh, there was a time when there were only three endowed chairs in the world dedicated to head and neck surgery, and um, myself, Jay, and Pat Galane occupied those chairs. Now there's a myriad of chairs, but we've, uh, we've traveled the world together from New Zealand to England to South America to, um, to, to Asia. So uh, I, I thank Jay for being my good friend for almost 30 years. And I think we have to look at it from another perspective, and that is we should be grateful that Jay has uh, imparted his teaching to us. He's given of himself almost wholeheartedly, not almost, but wholeheartedly to the field of head and neck surgery, and we should be very, very grateful for that. 
Um, I've conferred on Jay many, many honors myself, and I'm proud to have done so. I've acted with Jay on um, many projects, including the World Congress on thyroid cancer, and it's been a pleasure to do so. And the, 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 the one pride and joy I think that he has in his personal life is, of course, his family. And last year, I was honored to, to be a guest at the wedding of his beautiful daughter, Millie, to Dan. And uh, of course, Barty was there as well. So, um, and, I, and I think I actually saw a little bit of tearing welling up in Jay's eye at, uh, at Millie's departure from the wedding. So having said that, I'd like you all to give Jay a warm round of applause. And Jay, please stand up and acknowledge your colleagues. <laughs> 